Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new Bursa B1911. I was shocked when I realized that Bursa was producing 1911s. They have a whole bunch of them. And I made a SHOT Show video, you may have seen other trade show videos, but this is the first time you have seen a Bursa 1911 in the wild. I just got back from the range. It performed just as I hope it would. Now I have to show you this case because this is a heavy duty, beautiful case. Highly padded. It's like a big old suitcase in there. And Bursa shows attention to detail and that certainly is a nice touch. But here's what we're looking at. This is the stainless model. And you can see how that's cut out and well padded. But the stainless model with the blue VZ G10 grips, I think, looks super cool. They have a whole bunch of these. They have flat dark earth. They have two-tone, all black, a highly polished slide. You know, it, they, they didn't just make one 1911 and call it quits. They made a whole bunch. It has some modern features. Let's check out these VZ G10 grips. It offers a relief cut right there to... The magazine release and it ships with one eight round Metgar mag. Now I love Metgar. They do a great job with mags and specifically 1911 mags. They they are some of the best producers out there. It has a heavily textured, I have to believe that's 20 line per inch, front strap and flat mainspring housing, extended beaver tail. It has an ambidextrous thumb safety, okay, making that left-handed friendly. The magazine release can be moved over to the other side, just sweep down there. You may notice that the right side and left side sort of mimic each other. A hair wider on the right side, not that that matters too much. It doesn't have any engraving on the side panels of the slide, nothing. And that's something I've, I've heard in the past where certain manufacturers put their their logo there or their name. The only thing you see there is that B right there. What do you suppose that stands for? The sights are Novak style in the rear, but it is cut and then you align that tritium front dot and it is a nice sight picture. So we'll take a look at that. An orange surround tritium front night sight that offers a great sight picture when you when you line this it just that orange just sticks out sort of like fiber optic in a way it has deep cut wide slide serrations all right we'll show clear here but those who do press checks will have no problem those who charge the pistol like that will have no problem there's a look at the business end now we'll lock the slide back and we'll see that there's no full length full length uh, guide rod so what do we have a GI style guide rod and I'm going to show you what it looks like disassembled very nice grip texturing overall 5 inch government size 70s series 1911 let me show you what it looks like at the range Nice. The B-1911 models are made in the U.S. It says Bursa, USA, Cartersville, Georgia, USA, model B-1911. So those who say, I want U.S. made firearms. Well, you're getting it with Bursa with, with the 1911 models and the Bar Series. I'm not sure about some of the other ones, but the Bar Series and the 1911s. And I'm pretty sure they're moving a lot of their operations to the U.S. And they're doing a fine job. That that TPR-9 is amazing. The Bar 9 is great. The, this is really nice. You saw me shooting it. I, I loved it right out of the case. The trigger, which adds to... The greatness of 1911s, okay? Big fan right here. Four pounds with the reset right there. Skeletonized trigger and hammer. The hammer can be pulled into quarter cock, all right? I don't know why you'd want to do that, except it may be an easier reach to cock back if you want to keep it in quarter cock. Right there, okay? For somebody that doesn't want to carry cocked and locked, 
which I think would be a mistake, but people carry all different ways. So if you wanted to carry quarter cock, you could do that just like that. Nice overall looking handgun. I like the flat dark earth, and I think the shiny one with the side of the slide, very shiny, though the classy touch, all black is nice. 416 steel, and this is what it looks like completely disassembled. Here's a look at the Bursa 1911 stainless disassembled. There's the frame, ambi thumb safety, and we'll see the feed ramp right there. It is on the frame. And then looking at the slide, we'll notice that there are no safeties with the trigger making it a 70s series. 416 steel. Look at those sidewalls with this slide. Very well built. Closer look at the forward and rear serrations. There's the tritium front dot. Here we have our barrel bushing, our spring cap. Some people call that a plunger and a GI style guide rod. All right. And over here we've got the beautiful G10 grips. I think the blue this is a great touch with the stainless and then the Metgar mag. The B1911 shot great. I really did enjoy it. I'm a huge 1911 fan. Bursa does an amazing job with their firearms. If you haven't checked out some of their newer releases, you're, you're missing out. And, and I think that this one is really nice. The way it's assembled, there is no slide movement at all. It is very, very tight. You, do you hear anything? I've got a good microphone on here. You can't hear a thing. It is very, very tight. And I love that trigger pull and what it offers. Now, we don't have an MSRP yet. And most of the sites you go to, you'll see that it's currently out of stock. I have to believe it never was in stock. But I do believe they are shipping shortly to the distributors, out to the stores, and they will be available. And I will tell you, I loved it. I shot this Freedom Munitions 45 ACP. This B1911 ate it up like nothing. And that stuff has been known to be somewhat inconsistent. Not with this. Okay, so it's, it's a nice, built, good-looking B1911 made by Bursa. And I look forward to more range time with this because... I loved it today. <laughs> I really did. And we'll see what the MSRP comes out as and what the store price comes out as. It's not available right now. But this is the first time you've seen shooting a Bursa 1911 on video. And I'm happy to be the one to bring it to you. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.